All right, guys, we're here with the Transcend from Grand Design. It's their new stick and tin model that's taking the stick and tin to the next level. We're going to have Nate from, he's a Grand Design factory rep. He's going to talk to us a little bit about the construction of these trailers. These are some really nice stick and tins. So you may want to hang around. Welcome to the Transcend, something that really excites me. Um, as you like, we like to call this, what, the stick and tin market, guys. The Transcend's really gonna change the stick and tin market around, here's why. Guys, there's a couple things the stick and tin market worries about. Number one, impact damage, okay? The aluminum siding, okay? So we're attacking that. How did, Grand, how did Transcend Grand Design attack that with the Transcend? Well, this actually is an 030 thickness siding, okay? The typical siding is usually an 017, or an 024. So basically, this is actually the thickest siding in the market right now for a stick and tin. So I can pound on this. We've hit it with footballs and it's never dented. So really cool peace of mind on that. Guys, the front is an 040. So usually the typical front in the stick and tin is an 030, what we have on the side. And that's where you're getting most of your wear and tear. Guys, so one thing I also want you to look at the benefit of having such a, a thick siding, so 030, to are the structure, are, there's no, ri all the, the rigid movements that you see on typical stick and tin, that's hard to, that's hard to actually to clean. This siding is so thick that we actually have two lines because it doesn't need that for the structural integrity of the siding. So, as you can see, that's why people look at this and they're like, what is it, composite? No, it's, it's actually, it's, it's, it's an aluminum siding. So one of the big reasons we went fiberglass is because of how easy the fiberglass is to clean, but holy cow, look at this aluminum. I don't see there's much difference. What do you think, Nate? It's a, it's a lot of difference. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot of difference from the regular stick and tin. Exactly. But from the, as far as ease, ease of cleanliness, ease of cleanliness it's is, gonna be right there with fiberglass. You got it, it's gonna be yeah. right there with fiberglass because there's not all those rigidy, yeah, deep, those deep canyons deep in there. Canyons That's in right. There. So okay. it's transcend, guys. The construction is awesome. If I were to peel this sign off, what you're going to see is a residential build. It's a wood uh, studs, 16 inches on center, like home. Also, fiberglass insulation. And this fiberglass actually does have an R value. Stick and tins in the market, you ask them what the R value is, they can't tell you because there's no R value. This, we actually spray glue it put the fiberglass insulation, the reason the glue is so important is so it won't sag when you're traveling. But this actually has a R9 um, uh, insulation factor on the walls of the stick on the Transcend. So very exciting on that. Another thing about Transcend I like to brag about, guys, everything's framed in, just like everything else on our market. So our windows, our little, uh, <coughs> Right here, that's framed in. So anything you see, little compartments where our, our uh, heater goes, our, our hot water heater goes, that's all framed in. Also, lights, the seals that has die cut foam behind it, cold cell foam. That's actually the size of that light. So that gives you a peace of mind on the ceiling there. So it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna chime in on the gas electric water heater and other manu, but to be fair, other manufacturers do this as well. But we have we almost two years of camping in the grand design with the gas electric, and we have never used any propane to heat our water. All right. Now what we'll do is we'll we'll bathe the two kids, then Brooke will get her shower. I'll wait about 20 minutes and then I'll get my shower, but that's how quick it recovers even without propane. So that's a huge deal if you can heat water without propane. Guys, this is a 35,000 BTU furnace on a Transcend. Guys, this is the same furnace we use for a solid tube. <laughs> same strength there. Guys, when you're shopping around stick and tin market, very important to ask how they seal their units, okay? Why is that important, guys? Guys, all right, I'm, I made this cut so people can see how well this is sealed. Guys, this is the Mylar tape. That's the first fire defense for water to go into your unit, okay? Next, it's actually, that's a closed cell foam right there. Closed cell foam that's actually waterproof. Next, this is a trim piece that goes on there, and you can see the closed cell foam that's in there. The screws actually will go through that closed cell foam, through the Mylar tape, as you can see, that screw, that screw is going to be completely waterproof. There's a gasket and then the silicone seals on the side. So guys, pretty much a quad seal on a stick and tin. Unheard of. Guys, transcend aluminum steps. Aluminum steps. Guys, what, what is used in the, by our competitors? A metal step. And look at the other one too. Just like two, the only imagines. Just like the only, two aluminum steps, guys. Why is aluminum important? Lightweight. 
does not rust and you can see at night guys the black stuff that the metal ones hard to see at night people trip and fall so guys we're here now inside the transcend like i always tell you guys look around see what you see uh what do you see i'm sorry what do you see you're gonna see a lot of storage guys a lot of doors and drawers uh you're gonna see 82 inch ceiling height gives you a lot of room in here six foot um height on the slide room guys also stick and tin we're using solid wood doors and drawers because we know the wear and tear you're going to put through them um, if you look down at our floors you're not going to see any ducting um, why guys ductless floor is so important for debris not to go in there um, for basically soft spots on the floor uh, very excited about that that's something you know we brag about it's a golden thread of consistency also our underbelly uh, like i always tell people you know why our underbelly has a heat duct going down there from our furnace why is that important you know of course when it comes down to freezing guys when you're in cold weather the last thing we worry about is your tanks freezing what you need to worry about is your plumbing that's why it's so important to have a heat duct going on there to create a pocket of warm air for your plumbing not to freeze i gotta say we were really impressed with the transcend Huge thanks to Nate Montiel for walking us around the Transcend and the other lines. If you look back in our channel, he did three other lines of Grand Designs with us as well. And also, thank you to Joel Klein and Camper Zen of Tucker, Georgia. Uh, they allowed us to come in and film for almost four hours at their show. They were super busy and they were very hospitable and still allowed us to come in and film. Uh, they were great. I hope you enjoyed, guys. Uh, if you did, make sure to subscribe.